guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this pretty and pink Valentine's Day inspired makeup look using some of the products from the new ColourPop Blush Crush Collection. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start with priming my eyelids with the P. Louise base in the shade number 2. I'm just going to apply it using this flat concealer brush. So the palette that I'm going to be using today is the ColourPop Blush Crush from their new collection. And this is what the palette looks like, you guys. It is so freaking pretty. I just love the shades, and I feel like it's perfect for Valentine's. It's like really pretty pink shades. I don't know. I just saw so the first shade that I'm going to take is this one right here, and it is called The One with a Morphe E27. And I'm just applying this on my crease. You can't really see this color, but trust me, it is there and it will make a difference. Next shade that I'm going to take is this one. It's called Made You Blush, and I'm using a Morphe E22 brush. The next shade that I'm going to take is this one right here, Cheek to Cheek, and I'm using a Wet n Wild just like blending brush. I don't know if you guys can see it. Now I'm going to take How Rouge right here on a Morphe E17 and just apply this more so on my outer corner. And now I'm going to go in with a blush wine right here. And I'm using a Morphe M411. And I'm really going to focus this just on my outer part of my eye. Kind of just pat it on. But kind of do circular motions at the same time, if that makes sense. By the way, these shadows do have like a little bit of glitter. I don't know if you guys can kind of see. It's my first time that I ever use shadows like this, like not on my lid. And I'm not mad. Like it looks really good. Now going back in with the Wet n Wild brush. Without adding any more shadow, I'm just going to blend the edges. I'm also going to go back in with the Morphe E27. I'm basically just going in with every brush and retouching every shadow without adding any more shadow to the brush. Once this is all blended out, the shade that I'm going to use for my lid is this one right here. This is called Pop a Bottle and it's this very pretty shimmery shade. And I'm just going to apply this with my finger directly onto my eyelid. And I'm not going to be very precise with it. I'm not going to like carve out my crease or anything. I actually really like sometimes like when it just looks messy. Now I'm going to take May Dew Blush again with the Wet n Wild brush. And I'm going to just add this to the center of my lid. Just so that the lid shade and the dark maroon shade that I applied on the outer V kind of blend in together. Then I'm just going to go back in with blush wine and retouch the outer edge. And that is it for the eyes. Now for lashes, I am going to take the Lash Bar LA girls night out little trio and i am going to use pico boulevard right here and apply those off camera and i'll be right back right, guys so my lashes are on now i'm gonna move on to foundation like i mentioned at the beginning of the video i already moisturized and primed my face i also did forget to mention that in this video i am going to be using or I'm going to be getting ready with a few of my new favorite products. So, 
For foundation, I am going to be using the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation, and this is in the shade Light Tan. I have been loving this foundation, you guys. Like, you have no idea. It is only like $7. I highly, highly recommend this foundation if you have like oily skin. I am going to take my Juno & Co Velvet Sponge and I'm just going to blend it out all over my face. I know that it does look a little bit yellow, but once I conceal and just finish my face, it will all blend in together. For concealer today, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Concealer. This is in the shade 18. For powder, I am going to be using the Pacifica Cherry Velvet Matte Translucent Setting Powder. And this is what it looks like. I have also been trying this powder out. And I'm going to be honest, you guys. I like the powder, I just don't like the smell. Like, it smells good, but it's just too strong for my liking. Now I'm going to bronze and contour my face using the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Powder. And this is in the shade Bronze Babe. I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics V3 brush. To wipe the powder for my face, I'm going to use the Morphe M438. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to take the color Pop Cream Gel Liner and the color Honey Dude, but it's basically like a nude liner, and I'm going to run this on my waterline. And then... I'm going to take cheek to cheek and blush wine and run these two on my lower lash line. I went ahead and coated my lower lashes with my ColourPop Voluminizing Mascara which has become my favorite. And now I'm just going to take this little brush that I have right here and apply a lovesick to my inner corner. For blush today I'm going to take the LA Girl Island Hottie blush palette and I'm going to use this shade right here. And I'm applying that with my Morphe M403. I'm so excited to be trying out the uh, Super Shock highlighter by ColourPop. This is in the color You're a Catch and this is what it looks like. It is so 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 pretty. I just love it. So I'm going to apply this with my Morphe Y14 brush. For lips, I'm going to be using these two products right here. This is the NYX Lip Pencil in the color brown. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stripped Liquid Lipstick. So I like it how it is, but I think that today I want to go with the lip gloss. So I'm going to apply the Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss in Love Struck. So I just applied it to the center of my lip. Before I forget, because I always forget, <laughs> I'm going to set my brows using the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I always forget this step. I don't know why. But... I'm making sure I don't today because if you do wear this makeup for Valentine's Day, you know, you're going to be out with your hubby, your boyfriend, whatever, and you don't want your brows to come off. 
So to finish off the look, I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and I'm just going to spray this all over my face. So this is the final look, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a like. Comment your thoughts down below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And so yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.